What the fuck is up, y'all? Um, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be different, just like all my other videos. They're different. Um, look, y'all read the title. You know what this video is about. Um. Um, basically, um, what this video is about, I'm going to be talking about the, um, the Patriots season. Um, for those of you that don't know, by the beanie on my head, you can probably tell I'm a Patriot fan. If you haven't already known by the, um, so many videos that I posted about the Patriots this, um, these past few months, that I'm not a Patriot fan, then you should probably know by now that I am a Patriot fan, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, what this video is about is I'm gonna be basically summing up the Patriots season so far, you know what I'm saying? Um, and where I think, or not where I think, but how far I think the, this, this team can go into the playoffs, you know what I'm saying? Um, so starting off, you know what I'm saying, we, Weeks one through, I would say, weeks one through five was probably our slowest weeks. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the exception of some wins that made us look like that, that Super Bowl contending team. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's also been games where it's looked like we've gotten off to, to poor starts. And usually when we get off to poor starts as, as a team, it's just terrible. You know what I'm saying? And there's those, there's those games where we get off to a slow start and then automatically in the second half, it's just like we explode. Um, now, looking at this team offensively, I'm going to say if I had to rank them, not based off like NFL's, you know what I'm saying, ranking system, uh, because these niggas don't know how to rank teams. Obviously, it's pretty fucking obvious that they just rank teams depending on fucking records. Um... So obviously they got the fucking Chiefs, you know what I'm saying? It's top five. But but like anytime you look at these niggas in a playoff game, these niggas are fucking trash. Like look at them, look at them statistically from a playoff record, they're fucking trash. You know what I'm saying? But they, you know what I'm saying, get all the hype in the regular season because they get regular season wins and, and then they look like a goddamn Super Bowl contending team and they talk about, oh, this is the team that can beat the Patriots. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, regardless, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, we lost to the goddamn Dolphins last week. Um, I'm over it. You know what I'm saying? The Dolphins got their Super Bowl win one more time. You know what I'm saying? Clap it up. Congratulations. Congratulations. This is your second Super Bowl in two years in a regular season game. That means absolutely nothing. You know what I'm saying? This only means that you're prolonging the absolute fucking most possible loss that you'll ever freaking have in your season which is you're not going to make the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? You're 7-6. Seven you can't make the playoffs with a 7-7 seven and seven record, and you're probably going 7-8. You know what I'm saying? Who have you played that's not beatable? You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, like, offensively, when, when looking at the Patriots, I would say I'm going to have to rank them in the top five. Um... Just off of the, the players that we have and how they've been able to, you know what I'm saying, so far be able to produce. You know what I'm saying? They've been able to, to hold their own against certain teams. Um, obviously, Josh Gordon came here like mid-season. And I'm going to say it, I am impressed with, with how, um, how much he's learned from this team and how he's been able to produce in such little time that he's been here. I feel like he's been a top star on this team, um, which is great, you know what I'm saying? Because obviously we need people like Josh Gordon when it comes to playing in the playoffs. Um, from a health stand standpoint, I hope he, I hope everyone on this team can stay healthy. Uh, we just got Rex Burkhead back a couple weeks ago, you know what I'm saying? So with this team at a full, um, at full health, it, it's dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Our running backs have had great, a great season. 
receivers like Julian Edelman and Gronkowski, who started out fucking slow as hell. Um, these last couple weeks, he's been playing pretty good. Um, you know what I'm saying? Would, would have loved to be, would love to have been 10 and 3 at this point, but sometimes we, we just don't get what we want. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm pretty sure the Dolphins want to be in the playoffs and they want to get further than the first round, but that's obviously not going to happen. Um, because as as good a quarterback as Ryan Tannehill thinks he is and as good an offense as the Dolphins think they have, they're not going to be good. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just something you don't expect. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get it. Nigga, niggas win regular season game and they act like they about to win the Super Bowl. It's crazy. Um, it's just like with the Chiefs, how they started like 5-0 and this season. Like, niggas was giving them all this praise about, oh, this is a Super Bowl contending team. Then they played the Patriots and they lost. Like, I predicted them to lose. I was like looking at the, at the game and I'm like, Niggas only got Tyreek Hill at this point. You know what I'm saying? So even even when looking at their at their um schedule, it's like they don't play anybody. You know what I'm saying? They played the Raiders. Fucking suck. You know what I'm saying? Who have they played that's like an an opponent that's like, oh, this might be a challenge for them. You know what I'm saying? They ain't played no other challenging teams. They have they have to play the Chargers this week, I think. Fucking trash. You know what I'm saying? As good as the Chargers have been, I don't really, I'm not really taking them serious. Um, defensively, um, when looking at the Patriots season, I would see, because I've said this in multiple videos this season with the Patriots um, about their defense. It's fucking pathetic. Um, there's been games, obviously, where this team has played great defense. And then last week, there's been, last week it's like games like that that's been like fucking trash. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's December and Christmas is like two weeks or three weeks away. But damn, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Well, we, we just in a given mood to give out W's. You know what I'm saying? Like, you niggas can't fucking tackle one person. And, and I get, like, the prop, the... And build we trust scenario every time it's like in build we trust anytime we lose. But nigga, no. Like we have Devin McCourty, one of our fastest safeties, getting taken out of the game. And then you replace Devin McCourty with a nigga like Gronkowski who's not even a def a defensive back, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't even play defense. Oh, I we like nigga, come on now. What? I just, I don't get what goes on in this man's head. Like, this nigga thought Ryan Tannehill on a bad ankle would throw from the 20 yard line to the end zone. Like, nigga, what? It's not, like, his name is Ryan Tannehill, not Tom Brady. He's not Aaron Rodgers. He's not Peyton Manning. The nigga's not that good of a quarterback. You know what I'm saying? At most, he's going to throw a five-yard pass, and then they're going to fucking lateral it. You know what I'm saying? N niggas can't tackle. The one fucking tackle we had, Van Noy had this nigga by the foot, and he can't fucking just tackle that nigga down. You know what I'm saying? Fucking trash. What the fuck you going for that nigga's foot for? Just fucking tackle him completely. At least push that nigga out of bounds. They only got three seconds. Um, so from a defensive standpoint, weeks one through five, once again, um, they got all, they they played good in games, but then there's there's four games that we've lost. Those four games that we lost is just coming down to making fucking stops. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like anytime we get into those third down situations, which I feel like the third downs is mostly what's been killing us all season, just like last year, uh, it's fucking trash. You know what I'm saying? Anytime we get into a third down situation, no one can get off the fucking field. You know what I'm saying? And when we do get off the field, it's, it's a fucking flag somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So we can expect the fucking flag. You know what I'm saying? Because apparently, if we make a fucking simple-ass tackle, it's fucking rough in the passer. You know what I'm saying? If we fucking hit a fucking receiver in the fucking head out of accident, you know what I'm saying? It's rough in the passer. But but Tom Brady 
gets hit five seconds after the ball is released, and this nigga takes the fucking goddamn hit to the head. Nothing. Like, what the fuck? I, I just don't get it. Um, and then when you look at our defense now as to where the season is, um, obviously we have improved, but there's still things we need to fix. So I, I would just say, you know, playoff-wise, I got all the faith in the world in my team. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how many more games we lose. I don't care what team we lose to. Fuck the Steelers. Nigga, them niggas are fucking trash. When we look at this game this week against the Steelers, like I said, I got all the faith in the world to, to just say the Patriots are winning this game. Uh, regardless of if Ben Roethlisberger wants to play this, this week, regardless of James Conner having a great season or not, I got all the faith in the world in my team to take this W, you know what I'm saying? Because it's the goddamn Steelers. And for some reason, the Steelers have been playing like goddamn trash for the past couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? I think the, these niggas had a chance to win the game last week, and this nigga goddamn slipped and missed a fucking field goal. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas are fucking garbage. How do you lose to the Raiders? Them niggas is 2-10. And, and if, if you look at it, the Steelers might not even make the playoffs, which could obviously help us. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we got to play the goddamn Ravens. And we don't have home field advantage because we fucking lost. And niggas now talking about, oh, they got to go through Arrowhead, which is the fucking place the Chiefs play at. I'm not fucking tripping. You know what I'm saying? If we got to go play the Chiefs in the playoffs, then so be it. You know what I'm saying? Fine. You know what I'm If they don't fucking lose to the Titans like they did last year, <laughs> let Marcus Mariota dot their ass up. <laughs> um... But yeah, man, like I said, I like I got all the faith in the world in this team. Um, regardless of how this defense has been playing, it just comes down to, to winning games. And whether we win the game by one point, two points, three points, or we just shut the team out, you know what I'm saying? A win is a win. So I got all the faith in the world in this team to, to make the Super Bowl again because that's obviously where I see this team going playoff-wise. Um, it's the fucking Patriots at the end of the day. It's Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. And as long as we got those two for as long as we can possibly have them, then so be it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go to the playoffs. It's obvious. You know what I'm saying? Niggas can make their little predictions all they want. They can talk their shit all they want after a loss. It don't matter. Because at the end of the day, these are, these are mediocre teams that's not even going to be, be a fucking... You know what I'm saying? Playoff team at the end of the day. It's fucking um, stupid as hell to just sit there and boast about your team winning a meaningless regular season game and your team is only 7-6. and six. So, you know what I'm saying? Pointless. Um, and I, I, might, I might sound cocky as fuck, but that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm, it's not just me being, it's not cocky. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a cocky ass person when it comes to watching this team play. You know, I might have been, I might be a fan. You know what I'm saying? Since I could remember, I, I've been a fan all my life with this team. Um, I've watched this win multiple, multiple championships. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? It's just the fact that I'm confident in this team, and I'm confident enough to say that we are going back to the goddamn Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Now, NFC wise, I don't really care who wins. I don't care if we got to play the Rams. I don't care if we got to play the Saints. Um, I fucks with both teams. You know what I'm saying? I love the I love the Saints. Saints is cool. I like Drew Brees. You know what I'm saying? Drew Brees is a cool ass quarterback that I feel like doesn't get enough appreciation for the type of um, quarterback he is. You know what I'm saying? So if for some reason the Saints do make it to the Super Bowl, which I hope they do, um, I would ever so love to see Tom Brady and Drew Brees playing the Super Bowl against each other. You know what I'm saying? And if we got to play the Rams, then we got to play the Rams. That's just that, man. Um, that's it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank y'all for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed yet. We got 45 subscribers on this channel. Um, thank y'all so much for, for subscribing. Thank y'all so much for fucking with my videos. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's December. We going crazy, man. So I will see y'all in tomorrow's video.
I love y'all with all my heart. <clears throat> For some reason, I feel like I'm getting sick, and it always happens around this time. And it's crazy, because I ain't even been outside lately. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know where the fuck I've been getting sick from. If I ate something bad, and I got, like, some type of food, some type of stomach virus, then I'm a fucking goddamn... I'm going to have to phase somebody on site. On my mama. Um, dead ass. Be facts. But anyways, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I will see y'all tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Y'all can click off the video now. I, I, I ended it. It's over. Y'all still watching this video, huh? Damn, y'all loyal as fuck. Y'all still watching? It's not funny. Too bad, boy. I don't care. That's too damn bad. Too damn bad. Goodbye now.